guys. I wanted to come on here very quickly and talk about what's been happening in Mama Joyce's streets. Rumor has it that Mia Thornton is still set to quit the show or has quit the show already, right? Um, now, this was a rumor that was around a couple of months ago, but I think Mia Thornton came out and kind of dispelled it just a little bit, which made everybody sit tight, and we've kind of been waiting to see what was going to happen. But now I think it's safe to circle back around to the subject because I have reason to believe that she has quit, okay? Um, now, remember a couple of months ago, uh, we got, you know, Mia in the press, and she was basically saying how she was set to skip the reunion or quit the Real Housewives of Potomac before the reunion, correct? And um, I think she cited something to the effect of, you know, the drama is just too much, which was really confusing to me because I believe, you know, Mia Thornton was extremely instrumental in a lot of the drama on the show and outside of the show. I mean, nobody was on social media more than Mia Thornton, uh, doing screenshots of people's feet and selling candles to combat uh, Wendy Osefo's candles and, you know, calling people names and doing all of this, that, and the third. And it just kind of became too much, right? Um, she was on the show and she got into it with uh, Wendy. Okay, Zen Wen. She got into it with Ascala. She got into it with Robin Dixon. She um, was tossing salad towards uh, Candace's way. And so, she definitely watched the show. She knew what the show was about. She knew that the show was extremely dramatic and it could get crazy. So I find it really odd that Mia would come out and basically say that the show was affecting her and the drama was too much when she literally played the drama up, right? Um. So I don't know. I just thought that that was really confusing. But with that being said, you guys... Um. If the rumor is true that she's quitting, I'm going to be extremely disappointed, right? Um, we know that, you know, G came out, I believe, a couple of months as well and said that the show was probably not as beneficial as he thought it was going to be. I think he said something to the effect of, you know, it's doing more good than harm. Uh, maybe it was affecting Mia's mental health deep, more deeper than she probably expected it to, Um of course, they probably had a conversation about the situation and came to the conclusion that it just wasn't worth it. And in my personal opinion, I kind of feel as though a big factor in this rumored decision is the fact that Mia probably works with a lot of white counterparts and she doesn't want them watching Bravo on Sunday nights looking at her crazy. Okay, that's what I truly think um, is a factor in this rumored decision of her quitting the show. Now, Circling back to me being disappointed, I'm personally disappointed because as a fan of the show, I really did like Mia. I thought Mia definitely brought storylines. I mean, she had more storylines than Giselle and Robin, right? What was Giselle's storyline? Nothing, okay? Giselle really didn't have nothing going on. She just wanted to fight with uh, Karen all day, talking about some, uh, I'm going to expose your broke truth and your marriage truth and your money. Like, girl, shut up. Okay, what's the broke truth? We know that Ray owed the taxes. Get something new, sis. Okay, hashtag free Uncle Ben. But um, no, Giselle didn't have nothing going on in comparison to Mia, who uh, basically opened up about her marriage. You know, G and uh, Mia are basically swingers. They do cuckolds. If you don't know what that is, just go to Pornhub if you're um, interested in typing cuckold. Okay, it's when... A husband or a wife, you know, has sex with somebody else and then the husband or the wife, the other, you know, part of the marriage sits out and watches and they, you know, do what they do, please themselves or vice versa. Then they switch and all of that nasty stuff. Right. Real freaky uh, like. But um, yeah, they opened up about their swinger lifestyle. She opened up her home. We got to see her kids and things like that. We got to see how she's a mother. We got this storyline about her mother. And I found it really interesting that Candace was on the reunion talking about some, oh, Mia, you used your mother as a storyline. It's extremely ironic because, Candace, you used your uh, mother as a storyline. You know your mom is all about the dramatics. You know your mom is messy like Mama Joyce, but you still allow her to film with you. And the reason why you allow her to film with you is because the true T is you want her to say something about Chris Bassett and you want the drama, you want the storyline. So, I mean, if we really going to call it like how we seeing it, both Mia and Candace use their families for their storylines and 
you know, it backfires all the time because it's actually really affecting uh, their real life. Okay, let's just call Portia Williams. Okay, Portia, how was your co-parenting situation after the trip? It went to shit? Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, if I had to rate Mia's experience on The Housewife, if I had to rate her on a scale from 1 to 10 of how good of a housewife she was on season 6, I would definitely give her about a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, I think her only fault was the fact that she looked wishy-washy. But y'all got to let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to see her stay? Do you want to see her leave? How do y'all feel about a scholar replacing her? All right, let me know in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and log off. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.